Okay, I got this seven years ago as a birthday present on my 18th and I've only just read the introduction now. I apologise for that. But that's not why we're here today. We're here to talk about photographers on Instagram and I'm not talking about the, you know, the Peter McKinnons or the, you know, the Brandon Wolfels. Woeful. Woeful? Woeful. I feel I'm pronouncing that wrong. But anyway, I'm not talking about the photographers that have got, you know, millions of, you know, followers or subscribers. I'm talking about photographers who are, you know, they're making phenomenal content on the platform and seeing what they've done in 2020, a 2021's a just going to be even, even better for them. Which, by the way, Happy New Year to everybody. Uh, I know I'm a little bit late to the game as this will probably get uploaded on the 2nd, maybe even the 3rd of of January. I've just been lazy. That's it. I've just been just been eating eating my weight in food and doing absolutely nothing. I should probably have been reading uh, reading this book. But if I'm being honest with you, this this is an intimidating intimidating book. Look at that. Look at the thickness of that book. That is, is what... I know you're not really meant to, you know, read to the end, spoil the ending, but uh, this is 620... No, 640 pages. I'll, I'll get to it. I'll get to it at some point. Hopefully by end of the year, I'll have a video out and I'll be able to say, yes, I have indeed finished this book, but... I'm not, I'm, there's no way I'm doing that at the moment. <laughs> but the way that, a, the way that I'm doing it is I've got a seven, seven, to be honest with you, I've got loads of photographers that I follow on Instagram that I would love to do this video on. So I've picked seven so far. A, I'm, I think I'm probably, I'm probably going to do a part two or a part three. So that's pretty exciting. I'm going to talk about three main things. Number one is going to be the photographer themselves. Number two is going to be the kind of feel and style of their profile and, you know, talk a bit about, uh, you know, their grid and colour as well, because I feel colour is really important when you're talking about, you know, Instagram. And number three is going to be my, or what what I think is my, my favourite shot of theirs. This is totally a uh, subjective. This is all my opinion on these uh, on these Instagram photographers so uh, I sh should probably get started so here, uh, here goes. First up we've got uh, Mike, Mike Dowie as his name helps if I actually look him up, hey there we go yeah, Mike Dowie who's a Canadian based photographer, yeah that is yeah, Canada, yep missed the, missed the flag there, uh, he's a Food, food, travel, photography keeps it really simple in his a, uh, in his profile, and he's even he's even got a blog that talks about the recipes that he's got. I might actually follow some of these. This look good. It's that gluten-free lentil mushroom cheeseburger. That actually sounds pretty good, and it looks good as well. I love the fact that on his grid he actually combines you know photography and food. And it says, it says aspiring chef on here from the looks of things, you are obviously far beyond anything that I could ever be. Also, look at that hair. That is the mane of a man who is in style. And that, that, that jumper as well, absolutely killing the fashion game, Mike. But yeah, I, I love this. I love the kind of earthy sort of aesthetic kind of style. That he's a uh, that he's got going on in the kind of autumny 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 colours. I can hardly I can hardly speak today. I don't know what it is. Just pronounce it pronouncing words. I just cannot do. Oh, he's been he's been to Scotland as well. Love it. That's what you need. Very jealous of this shot as well. Uh, mainly because you've got a drone. I've always wanted a drone. Uh, but. My bank account tells me that I cannot own a drone, so there you go. Yeah, I do. I do love this. I love this. I love this feed. Love the, love the feel. Love the, just love the, 
of the aesthetic and the colours. How many times have I said love the? I love the. Yeah, I do, I do like it. Dogs as well. Love a love a dog pick. Who who doesn't? Who doesn't? Hmm. I think, yeah. Fav favourite shots. Definitely gotta be this. Creamy vegan roasted carrot soup. I love the fact as well that he's composed it as if it looks like it may or may not have been taken outside, but he's made it look like uh, this shot was taken outside. Same with the bowl as well being that kind of sort of brown earthy uh, earthy colour, just totally contrasts the actual colour of the of the soup itself. God, that looks good. I'm, see, I'm hungry now. I've, I, yeah. I think I've, I, after this I'm going to go downstairs and uh, see what's uh, See what's see what's in the fridge. Phenomenal skills you've got both, you know, in the kitchen and you know with a with a camera man. That's yeah, that's that's phenomenal. Hey, next up, we've got I discovered it's, the thing is with all these photographers, I discovered them. I think it was just through lockdown. Just discovered hey, all these photographers. Hey, Braden Stanley, next up on the on the list, another Canadian based th disclaimer. Not all the photographers are Canadian based, just it. I think it's just these two. But Braden Stanley's his name. I first started following him when when he was in Greece, actually, and some of the shots and the videos that he was he was taking were just just blew me made, made, made me very jealous because I was currently in lockdown at the time, as well as the whole country, and I couldn't go anywhere. I was upset, couldn't go anywhere, had plans to go places, and nope, just uh, just wasn't allowed. But it seems that from his feed and the things that he's doing and the you know video content that he's producing is that he's you know exploring these places you know around the world, and he's promoting the properties that he's going to as well, uh, which is which is you know phenomenal, and I recommend any anybody that's a uh, you know, photographer or filmmaker to to do so, you know, hit up these, you know, small businesses and hotels, especially uh, now. But yeah, I do love this whole travel lifestyle aesthetic that he's, that, that he's bringing here. But I think by far my favourite shot, I mean, is it? I went right past it, is, is this one of the sailing boat going past the, uh, past the islands uh, of Greece. I just, it's just... It's one of those things that really inspires you to, you know, travel to experience new things. Uh, yeah, I love it, Braden. You're you're the man. You're you're the man. It sounded really aggressive, doesn't it? Says, you're the man. Yeah. By right, next up, number three, I think it is. Who is? Uh, first off, username Bering East. I absolutely, I I love that. I have so much time for that. Uh, because as soon as I, you know, hear the username, think about the username, it makes me think about travel, adventure, navigation, all that. It's, it's, it's phenomenal. Sam, this is, I love this. All that, and literally, as soon as I go on his profile, that's the aesthetic that I'm, I'm getting. I've said aesthetic a lot, because I quite like the word. I can't spell the word, but I like the word. And there's also a, there's also seems to be quite a sort of, in his more recent stuff, there's quite a sort of mysterious atmosphere that he's bringing to his, to his grid. Oh, and one thing, this is a tip for anybody who is a photographer, wants to be a photographer. Uh, if you're kind of consistent enough with, you know, your style, the colours that you're using, uh, throw in a prop. Like, for example, on on Sam's profile here. You'll notice that through throughout his grid, throughout his post, you'll notice this this orange hammock. And you notice that it pops up every now and again. And that's something that I love to see in in anything really, in any kind of, you know, photo shoot project eh, or grid on Instagram is seeing, you know, these props so that as soon as you see them, you'll automatically link that back to you know, the photographer themselves or, you know, or whoever. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Should have mentioned as well, Sam East from, from Bristol in the UK. We've got another a southwest of England photographer. 
Yeah, I'm trying to think about my geography here. God, I need to turn the brightness up. My bright. I always keep my brightness like so low, so low down, especially on well the iPhone anyway. And I always have, always seem to have low battery mode on, just so I can scroll through a bunch of funny videos because that's all I that's all I ever ever seem to do during the during the holidays and get absolutely nothing productive done whatsoever. On our photographer number four is a Harry Thiessen. Thiessen, Thyssen, Thiessen. I'm going with Thiessen. Harry, if I pronounce that wrong, I apologize. And yeah, sh shots are stunning. There's a bunch of different, uh, different kind of styles going on here. There's this kind of wanderlust uh, adventure that's actually a phenomenal shot there. I'm very jealous. Dolomites. Um, Dolomites, where are they? Where are they actually? Italian mountains. And I am going to add that to my list of places to go right now. Dolomites. Italy. Done. Love it. Onto my ever-growing list of places I need to travel when I'm not in lockdown. But as I was saying, oh yep, yeah, Highland Cow, there's nothing I love more than a picture of a Highland Cow. I don't know why, it's just that, just any any animal, really. I love it. I'll admit, as well, I do love this shot. My, fav my favourite shot is this one that Harry took down in Devon. And this is, yeah, this is just... Fantastic, fantastic shot. I just love the composition of it. I love the colour as well, how you've got all the uh, colours of the stone and then the, the red on the on the jacket as well. Yeah, just absolutely love it. Harry, absolutely killing it. My man, absolutely killing it. Anyway, number five. Are we on number five? Yeah, number five is a a Dutch photographer called Martin van Weigel. 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 I'll go with that. Uh, his, there's a very kind of, I say very kind of, kind of space-like, psychedelic vibe that I'm getting from his style and look, looking at his grid as well. Oh, just shot like that is just, I don't know how people could do things things like that as well. And that's where's that the motion imagination experience. I wonder where that is actually when I'm looking at. It's in Eindhoven in Holland. That is somewhere that I feel that as I'm going through these, my list of places that I need to travel to is just going to increase so much that I'll never I'll never be able to go. Now I've actually seen this image on a few other profiles. Um, that share, you know, uh, photographers. This is this is brilliant. I, I really want to know how he. I wonder how you did it, how you did this. Yeah, Martin. See if you've got a, like a behind this behind the scenes, a uh, makeup of how you did this. I'm really I'm really curious to know because it must have been. Did you Photoshop in some of the dominoes and did you have the little? Mario Kart on strings. I I, I I love this shot. That's that's I just I just really enjoy looking at the looking at all of these. Really. I do like how you've got some, you know, long exposures, you've got some photoshopped uh, shots in there. You've played about with light in a lot of these as well, and it's it's all really like really high quality, like experimental stuff, and I I I think this is fantastic but I think the one that really blew me out of the water eh, oh yeah it's this shot uh, absolutely hands down is this shot at the the motion imagination experience this eh, I just love the I love the colours you can feel there's quite a lot of as static as this looks you feel there's a lot of dynamic motion here around about the uh, around about the model as well and I do like the I love the fact that there's this kind of mirrored image as well on the floor and on the wall uh, as well this yeah this this is phenomenal this is brilliant I cannot fault any of these 
that, that I'm looking at at all. It's fantastic. But anyway, I realised that I've spoken a lot about, you know, a lot of the male photographers as well. So I'm going to talk about a couple of the female photographers that I follow that's work is, you know, incredible. And the first one up, I actually did a collab with a collab. Is that how you say it? I feel like I'm just mispronouncing everything today. I did a little collaboration with uh, this next uh, photographer, Daniel Stewart. She's a uh, Scotland based up in Dundee. I say up in Dundee. The people from the north of Scotland are like, Dundee's not that not that far north. But from Dundee anyway, so representing Scotland. Uh, there, loving it. Owns her own fashion brand as well called Nayamako, which uh, I've worn and own a uh, one of the shirts. It's very, very comfortable. It's quite warm as well. Just just when you're wearing it. It's a uh, but I'm loving the the adventure aesthetic Highland Cow as well. I feel I need to take a photo of a Highland Cow now. Gotta try and try saying that ten times fast. Yeah, this is just definitely got the kind of earthy, natural, more Highland cows, more Highland cow on a road there as well. It's quite tranquil. Oh, old man of store as well at Sky. Need to, yeah, give that a like, why not? Love this profile, love the love the vibe that she's given off, the very kind of environmental friendly vibe that she's given off. And hands down, favourite shop. It's not just a Highland cow, it's a baby Highland cow. Absolutely has to be. I do love this side by side as well of the before and after shot because that is some that's phenomenal editing right there from a very photogenic model right there. Yeah, absolutely smashing it. Some absolute bangers in there as well. Last off, last off. Is that it? last but not least? Does that seem? That sounds a bit cliche, doesn't it? Eh, uh, should go for something simpler. Like, last photographer on the on the list is somebody I actually came across a uh, pretty recently. Her name's Ashley Monks. She is also from Bristol. I've realised I seem to be finding a lot of photographers from Bristol. I need to I've, I need to go there. Any right, any photographers from Bristol? My DMs are open. <laughs> hit, hit me up. Tell me tell me how you do this stuff. Really, show me, show me the way. Yeah, her whole adventure, explore, travel vibe. You just, you just get that instantly from looking at this profile. Oh, even, even that first Lago de Braze, de Braze. Yeah, I think that's it. Sure, let's go with it. I've been mismanizing things all night, so let's, let's go with that. Love as well. I've been noticing throughout our photo she's got this a uh, this blanket that seems seems to go uh, everywhere with her but it's just one of those things that you incorporate like i was mentioned earlier with a uh, sam he's incorporating the the hammock you know that prop into his a uh, in his photography here and there she's doing the exact same thing with the with like this kind of poncho like blanket and it's the same with the hats as well one thing that i've always found about myself is that i do not suit hats at all I look horrific in hats and there's photographers out here like Ashley who's just absolutely killing the hat game. Absolutely. I would not suit being in any form of Western movie if there was a hat involved. I would, I'm just I'm just not for it. I just can't do it. But yeah, my favourite, favourite shot of her profile is... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it was, yeah this one. No, it's not that one. Nope, this one. Yep, that is. The location is... I'm doing a very bad job at trying to learn these things. Anyway. Yeah, fantastic shot. The depth between the foreground and the background is brilliant. And you've really got to focus on... Actually, is that a wolf on her? It is. That's, that's really cool. I like that. I do realise as well, it's now gotten incredibly dark so I've actually had to turn this light on which is at a ridiculous angle so now it does look kind of spotlighty on on me. I do want to thank all the photographers that I've, that I've featured in this video for allowing me to not only kind of do this video but to actually feature them and show off 
their work and I know that they're going to be bringing some really amazing content into 2021. I'll link all of their Instagrams and whatever down in the, down in the description so you can find them there as well and feel free to feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more because I know I'll definitely be doing a part two maybe even a part three who knows we'll see how far we can we can go with this thing and as a as a last note I may I'm gonna catch you guys and gals later and I'm actually gonna I'm actually gonna go and uh, actually start reading this book now so till next time